Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Chip Waters here, and I want to talk a little bit about 3D Coat, and in particular, uh, this tutorial is going to be about voxels, and, and what are they, and, and what's in, you know, how important are they, uh, the, the, getting the proper resolution of a voxel uh, number of triangles in a voxel object. So let's take a quick look at that. I'll start with a uh, uh, blank scene. So you'll see that this is this is your world. They say try not to build anything way that far out here. So if I start, and I, just for instance, let's say I'm going to do a, uh, a, a, a cube, right? So, uh, and right now, I'm going I'm to just make a few different cubes. So I'm going to hit the apply button, and that's 29,000. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to grow it a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to hit the apply button. It's take a long time. And that's 5 million, right? So 5 million is just too big of an object to work on. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to basically make this twice as big. So I'll go down to about 100. So the first one was 50 by 50 by 50. This is 100, as you can see right there. There it is. Let's see, 100, somewhere in there. And I'm going to move it right back. Uh, I'll move it right there. And I'll hit Enter. And I'll hit the T button, which is my transform tool. And I'll click over here. And I'll move this one very close to this other one. And Shift A, which is going to zoom up on this. So I can rotate around. And I'm, I've got my perspective off. And I'm going to zoom all the way out. So now a little closer. Now I hit the W key, which is showing my wireframe. So you can see that the actual density of these two and these wireframe are exactly the same. It just means that this has got a larger canvas, right? So if I want to, for instance, if I'm going to use a uh, tool like the clay tool, right, on over here, and it's big. So if I start here, I can go, you know, oops. Uh, let me go clay. Here we go. So if I start, let's go. Let's go here. So if I start here, we'll see that I can, you know, I can go, you know, one. I can start to travel all the way up and down this thing with this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five rows. If I do the same thing over here, I'm gonna go one, two. Three. So I, you, know, you can kind of understand that even the resolution is the same. I just got a much smaller canvas uh, uh, to work on over he, over here than I do there. Now let's talk about making this canvas bigger. So I'm gonna undo this, undo that, and I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom this up about to it till it's about a hundred. It's about the same size. Let's see, we're yeah, so in there, and let's move it over here. Okay, and now let's look at now you can see the actual uh, I think you can see now the actual densities this is twice as dense as this even though they're the same size it's twice as dense so let's look at that as we uh, try and draw on these so I'm going to go back over here uh, and uh, use this clay tool and let's turn this off and again I want to just you know kind of do the same thing we did before and of course we get these rows again and I'm gonna do it over here okay and you'll see let's try it again I can certainly now fit the same number of rows but the actual resolution is much, much less. So it's a very, you know, it's more of a, 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 a fidelity issue. So I really prefer not having to, you know, to work in this mode on a low res, you know, working on a low res. It's like working on a very small resolution, resolution image. So how do I fix that? Well, what I can do is let's go back into the wireframes. Um, one thing I can do is uh, I can just uh, res it up. I can right click on it. 
and say uh, resample. So remember the other one was uh, actually let's find out what it was. So this one is uh, 29,000. This one is 142,000, right? So uh, let's go up to the first one, this one, and we'll resample. We want we want to say 142,000. So let's go to here. 142, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now you can see that we have basically, you know, we have kind of the same, you know, we have this pretty much the same resolution now. Uh, but this is softer because we sampled it down, we sampled it up, now it becomes softer. But we can see very quickly if, uh, if I use the cutoff tool right here and I cut this off and... And I cut this, oops, this off. And option, you can see that those are pretty much the same amount of sharpness in there. And that's one of the things that that resolution gives you is it gives you that 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 sharpness. Uh, uh, one of the nice things. One of the kind of interesting things that you can do, by the way, is uh, you can actually downsample and then upsample to give you kind of uh, this this kind of nice. You know radius kind of corner like there and if you just hit under the uh, 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 the smooth all control F right I can go into here for instance and I'm gonna do control F so I'm, I'm softening the whole thing but I can keep doing this and let's look the, I'll look at the there's the wireframe but I'll just keep I'll, I'll, I'll com complete making these sound you know uh, softer and softer and then then use my cutoff tool come off here and I've got a real strong sharp corner right there which is very nice if I want to extend it make it longer then I just go to the pose tool right click grab here and I am going to again drag an area out and uh, I want to basically align this to view which is already is and I can just drag this however I want. Now this is an interesting thing because when I do this, let's look at the actual. Oops. You see that 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 it actually added the right amount of, of details. I didn't really stretch anything, but let's undo that. And uh, let's say we take the T key, uh, this key, and let's just say I stretch it this way, right? So now when I do this. Notice that all of a sudden, this edge, see how tight it is now? Now, now look how, how uh, soft it is, right? The other thing is look how stretched out these polygons are. Now, they're no longer, are they, are they square? And that means it's going to be, if you stretch something like that, you're going to get these awkward shaped polygons. And if you get those, the way to fix that is you just right click on your object and you say to global space. And now it puts it back at there, all the square shaped polygons. It doesn't fix this little radius problem you're going to have here, but that can be easily fixed by just, you know, going back and using the cutoff tool and cut it off. So, so as a, as a rule of thumb, I like to work uh, with, for, for, for larger shapes like this, like basic body shapes, I like to work with about 400,000 polygons. Uh, and so, if I look at this this shape and it's at 238,000, so I'll probably you know punch it up to maybe 415. I could maybe you know, in this case if I want a real sharp corner, I might go to 600. But four is pretty pretty good number. But 600, you'll see when I when I cut this off, you'll see that now I've got a, an incredibly sharp corner right there. So it just kind of depends on what you what, what you want to do. Typically, you'll find that as you go through your workflow, you'll end up using Command F, which is the the shortcut for a, a smooth for this smooth all, and because you may you know you may have a, a cutout or something that you want to smooth out. For instance, let's look at this extrude. If I use an extrude, uh, and you know, uh, and let's use this line. All right, so I'm gonna go. So there's an extrude. So You'll see there's extrude, and if I hit Command F one time, let's zoom up on this. 
there you go see it it just kind of cuts it nicely so so I'll, I'll I'll get all my course blocked in work and then I'll probably hit command F once or twice and then we come back and sharpen up some of the some of the areas if I need to so so I hope that this explains some of the some of the things about voxels again just to to recap the thing that you're looking for is density you use that by looking at the wireframe command um, you know and uh, uh, and it's not the size of it is is not as important as how dense it is and how many how many how many triangles and looking down here you'll see that a good number of triangles is I don't know 400 450 500 maybe sometimes in some extreme cases 600 like we're showing here so hope that helps and we'll talk to you later thanks bye